Let's say we've been asked to square root a complex number. Well, this seems a little bit of a strange thing to do, um, and not a very easy thing to do either. So if we wanted to square root 15 plus 8i, um, it doesn't seem immediately obvious as to how you would go about that. So let's do it this way. Um, let's say that this is going to be equal to some value z, okay, so some complex number z. Now if I square both sides, I can say that 15 plus 8i is going to be z squared. Now if I give z um, a generic uh, complex number look, if you will, then I could say that 15 plus 8i is the same as x plus iy squared. Okay, so that's what I'm going to work with, this x plus iy squared, and I'm going to find the value of x and y, where x and y are real numbers. So if I expand that, I'm going to get x squared plus, well, I'm going to get um, 2xyi, and then I'm going to get iy times iy, iy times iy, sorry, which is going to be y squared i squared, which is going to be minus y squared. So that's x squared minus y squared plus 2xyi. So it has this real part, the x squared minus y squared, and the imaginary part, 2xy. So if I equate the real parts, that's saying that 15 is equal to x squared minus y squared, and the imaginary parts would be 8 is equal to 2xy. So if I take this second equation, divide through by 2, I'm also going to divide through by x, so I'm going to get uh, y is equal to 4 over x, if I divide through by 2 and then by x. And then I'm going to substitute this equation into this equation. So I'm going to get 15 is equal to x squared minus 4 over x, all squared. Now, that's 15 equals x squared minus 16 over x squared. If I multiply everything by x squared, I get 15x squared is equal to x to the 4 minus 16. Move everything onto one side of the equation, so 0 equals x to the 4 uh, minus 15x squared minus 16. Now, this is a hidden quadratic. It doesn't look like a quadratic because it's got this number 4. It's, got, it's actually a quartic, but it can still be factorised. So, if I factorise it, I can write that as x squared um, minus 16 times x squared plus 1. So, if I bring this up here, that means I've either got x squared is equal to 16, in which case x is plus or minus 4, or x squared is equal to minus 1, which has no solutions. Well, no real solutions. Um, of course, now that we know that x would have to be plus or minus i in this case. But, but, our initial um, reasoning for putting in x plus i, y was that x and y are both real numbers. Okay? They are both real so we cannot have x being a, an imaginary number. So x squared equals minus 1 has no solutions whatsoever. So x is equal to plus or minus 4. So that would mean that if x is positive 4, then y is 4 over 4, which is just 1. And when x is minus 4, y is minus 1. So that must mean that the what we have, the square root of 15 plus 8i, is actually square roots. There are two solutions. 
there's the first solution where we've got 4 plus 1i and we've got a second solution minus 4 minus i. These are the two solutions to the, com well, to the um, square root of 15 plus 8i. It's a long-winded process, this one. Um, it's just a case of substituting in, um, rearranging and substituting into the formal equation and solving this quartic. It is quite involved um, and is quite a rare question to see come up.